Okay, so we started off our 1D diffusivity equation. It was like this. And that was for specifically 1D homogeneous case. And we actually showed the PDE early in the class, but then when we actually went to uh, heterogeneous case, we just used the, the sort of control volume approach. So we, we, we derived the discrete form of the equations directly without first showing the PDE and then doing final differences. But the, the PDE in that case um, is a slightly different <coughs> now that it's like this, so this is 1D heterogeneous and that's because the, uh, you could have a spatial dependence on the permeability and viscosity, and so uh, that derivative is outside. So it's, it's the, you know, this term inside is the flux, so this is the, you know, the divergence of the flux from the conservation of mass principle. So today we're going to talk about 2D. So the 2D extension, and we're going to go, we're going to go right to the, the heterogeneous case, okay? So we're going to write the equation I guess I guess uh, should have a formation volume factor in all these equations. So this is for 2D heterogeneous anisotropic. Notice there are two different permeabilities, the permeability in the x direction and the permeability in the y direction. And this includes wells because I have a flux term over there. It's actually one more, there's one more assumption in this. Can, can anyone tell me what it is? Uh, that's generally the case. Remember the, the, the viscosity is the fluid viscosity. The fluid doesn't have a preferential orientation. Uh, like, but the, the permeability is the permeability of the rock. So. So it has a preferential orientation. But there is, there's one little, it's a subtle, I'd be surprised if we got it, but the other, the other assumption here is that the z direction, the one we're not including, the one we're missing, if, you know, the one we would add if we went to 3D, right? The z direction in this case is acting in the same direction as gravity. So if x or y, if we, if, in other words, this is a reservoir that we're up in the sky looking down on in, two, in the 2D plane. Okay. So we're looking at flow across a reservoir in the, in the plane of the Earth. Right? If, if, one, if X or Y was in the direction of gravity, then the flux term would, uh, the term inside here would include a, a gravity term. Right? Yeah. Well, uh, Anisotropic because 
maybe you can't read back there, but that's a KX, and that's a KY. So it's anisotropic. The permeability is different in different directions. Okay. It just means I added this term, right? These these up here didn't have didn't have that term on the end. Sorcerer sink term. Okay. So uh, we could actually, just like we did at the beginning of class, we could use finite differences to derive the discrete equations. Okay. But we can also use the control volume approach. And you'd get the same exact equations either one. I would just curi out of curiosity, which which one makes more sense to you guys? To just derive the just to take a control volume and write the fluxes going in and out and equals the accumulation and the sources <coughs> and sinks, or or do you like to have the PDE and, and discretize it? Or does it matter? You're just confused either way. <laughs> huh? I prefer, I, uh, I'm surprised, I was talking to Dr. Bauhoff, he, he seems to think that you guys prefer the control volume approach, and I know I prefer to just have the PDE. Uh, because, yeah, it's sort, of, <laughs> it's sort of philosophical, but, you know, I think I've mentioned before, the, the finite difference approach is just one way to discretize these equations. I could also use a finite volume or a finite element approach. And for those, I sort of ha need the PDE to start uh, with. And, and then if, if the PDE was, then we'd, we'd make a choice of discretization. Um, with the control volume approach, which is actually also for regular, for regular grids, is a finite volume approach, uh, then you're, you're sort of imposing the discretization right from the beginning. Anyway, if you're confused either way, then I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so 